making Harlan County was pretty incredible. And I never had any feeling or any sensibility that it would show anywhere. Um, I thought, you know, maybe it would show at the Museum of Modern Art or the Whitney and that would be it. And I remember bringing the film up to the New York Film Festival for them to look at. I don't know if you want all this. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For them to look at. And um, it wasn't finished and it was 16 millimeter double system with a 16 mag track. and. We stayed up all night long trying to, you know, do cue sheets and make sure everything was fine. And I called them, uh, the New York Film Festival, spoke to Richard Rabb and said, you know, I'm bringing up my film and this is how it is. I'd sent in an application. He said, oh, no, 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 we don't look at films in double system. And I said, oh, but you looked at one on the Hells Angels and, you know, I found out about that. And then, and you're getting funded by the New York State Council on the Arts, and so am I, and would you just take a look at it? So he said, okay, bring it up. So I brought it up, and uh, it was pretty frightening. I had to leave it there and go downtown. And then a while later, they called for me to pick it up. And so I went up to pick it up, and all these people were crowded around the glass door and they said, you know, everybody loved it. Richard Roud only went to the bathroom once <laughs> <laughs> during the film and you're gonna be in the New York Film Festival. And I said, well, I don't know if I want to or not. I was trying to like, cause you didn't treat me so nicely. And Richard Roud said, don't be an idiot, Barbara. And I said, okay, I won't. So we were preparing it um, and they were inviting Donald Rugoff to one of the screenings. And I'd never met him, and, but I knew that he was there and he had Cinema 5 and he had such a wonderful slate of films. And he evidently fell asleep during the screening and was awoken by the applause. So then he figured, okay, I'll consider distributing it. So I went to his office um, with another guy named Bill Sussman, who is this wonderful guy. Um, and we started negotiating with him. And I had a long list of things that I wanted. You know, I wanted um, people who didn't have much money to be able to see it, union people to see it, other people to see it. And I wanted to have PR and a lot of other things. And I gave him my list and he was livid. He called me a hussy. And so I asked him if he would get up for a moment and trade places with me. And um, he got up and I sat in his seat and I told him all the reasons why he should distribute this film and why it was a good film and that he should do all the things that I asked him to. And he was even more furious. 